life everywhere. This time I've got a new repeating pattern for you. It's an A mixolydian and the small part that I'm going to use from that scale goes like this. All right, you begin on the E string with your pinky on the fi uh, on the 15th fret, uh, no, the 17th fret, which is an A note. All right, you start with your pinky then you do your swearing finger, your middle finger, your index finger, then you go to the B string and use your pinky, swearing finger, index finger, slide down to the 12th fret. So you've got this. So, the first part started on the A note, so the second part will also be on the A note, but then found on the G string and that is somewhere on the 14th fret so you do the same part and then you go to the 12th fret on the A string which is also an A and you do the same part the only problem is I'm still in drop D so I need to tune so, you go to the 12th fret on the A string and do the last part. So, in total you've got this when you play the three parts together. The only thing, when I want to go back up again to towards the high A note, I'm not going to use the same pattern because I found for myself out it didn't feel that good. So I changed some frets. The notes are still the same, but the frets you play are different. So when you're here, you go back up. That's still the same, but normally you would go to the ninth fret on the D string and do slide up. Now you go to the 14th fret on the A string and that plays a lot easier. So in short the parts you're going to play right now are these. When you are here the last note when you go downwards you go to the 9th fret on the, a, uh, the E string you do your index finger, your middle finger, your pink, then your index finger, your middle finger and your pink, and then you slide up to the 14th fret, uh, your index finger on the 11th fret on the D string, middle finger pink, index on the G string on the 11th fret, middle finger pink, slide up to the 16th fret and then you go with your index finger to the B string on the 14th fret your middle finger your pink index finger on the 14th fret on the E string middle finger pink and then you're up again so the thing you do different is you do a slide with your pink instead of your index finger. You can also play it like the normal way with the, the first pattern. But I'm playing this. So, when you play it all together, it sounds like this. I will put
put a link somewhere around here in YouTube so you can click on the previous video I did uh, with the blues lick in E minor. Hope you learned anything from this video. Choose a scale, choose a part from that scale and repeat it on the entire neck and you've got a lick. And don't forget to not only play it like upwards, also play downwards. This was it. See you around. Thank <laughs> you.